Man, every kid knows that if you eat beans, you destroy your butthole. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Plant-Based Princess with her video What I Eat for Gut Health. Good luck eating plant-based for gut health. Let's have a look. Yeah, that will heal your gut. Either she really doesn't know what she's doing, or she's the queen of sarcasm. Hola, como estas? I'm literally standing like bueno. a child in my bed. I'm not standing, I'm sitting on my knees, but that's fine. Hola, como estas? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Ree, and I create conscious lifestyle content. So we all create conscious lifestyle content, whatever that is. Here lately, I've been like really busy and just really unprepared, and this has had like a really huge effect on the foods that I eat, which has been a lot more processed foods than I typically prefer. So Plant-based is always processed foods because you need to process those plants in order to eat them in the first place. Try eating raw grains. It is impossible. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day with an emphasis on gut health, which is <laughs> actually perfect because today's video is sponsored by Ombre Lab. So I've wow. mentioned it before. Coincidence. But I know a lot of you guys are new here, but I've struggled with digestion issues shoes pretty much all of my life or as long as I can remember. Wow. So as long as you can remember, then try remembering what you've been eating all your life. If you look into the standard American diet, you will see that it is already plant-based. Americans eat on average a diet that consists of 80% plants. You might not realize that. Wow, we're eating hamburgers. You're eating bread, which is plants, with lettuce, tomatoes, which is plants, and tiny amounts of meat. With that, you have a bunch of fries, yet again, plants, and soda, which is, again, plants, sugar cane in some instances. Do you understand that the American diet is predominantly plant-based, which then leads to gut issues? Try a carnivore diet. Try a high meat diet. Try a diet that consists predominantly of animal foods and see how your gut health will improve. And over the years, I've kind of just had to really listen to my body and just figure it out. I'm right left. Just figure it out, girl. You're not figuring out anything. You're not listening to your body if you are a vegan. Veganism is the religious denial of the human body, of the human nature that has been created by God. If you are a vegan, you are dogmatic by definition. You believe that the human is supposed to eat plants even though you have gut issues. Do you understand that you've been brainwashed? That takes all the guessing out, making it really, really easy to measure your gut health by Hombre. offering an at-home test that can measure your bacteria levels by testing your poop. Sure, that will do the job. If you go to a real gastric doctor and you want to figure out your issues, you know how much that costs? Man, when I was a vegan for four years straight, I was going to those doctors, SIBO tests and whatnot. Those examinations are supremely expensive. You pay many thousand euros to really diagnose what is wrong with you. Of course, you would be better off to simply eat a steak and fix those issues yourself. But what I'm saying here is that hombre test won't do anything. Things like digestion issues, mental health concerns, maintaining a healthy weight, skin concerns, the answer could literally be found in your gut. Why do you have bad skin then? It contains trillions of bacteria, Question. both good and bad. When your gut doesn't have enough good bacteria, it gives the bad bacteria. What is good bacteria? What is bad bacteria? Explain. An opportunity to flourish. And when this happens, <laughs> you may start to see some of the symptoms that I previously mentioned. You guys know that I've always encouraged individualized wellness journeys. What may work for me may or may not work for you. And what works for you may or may not work for me. And yeah, that might be true, but does it work for you at all? That's just 
It's expected we're all different human beings and we all have different needs. If you found yourself struggling here lately with any of the symptoms- Yeah, we all have different needs, kinda, but we all have the same nature, which has been God created. Do you understand this? We are still humans after all. Yes, we have different interests, but it doesn't change anything about our physiology. And therefore, you won't be able to trick your biology by simply eating plants. It is impossible. I may have mentioned, and you just want to see if your poop has the answers. Visit tryumbre.com <laughs> slash oh, wow. plant-based princess to receive $30 Good. off of your test. Thank you cool. again to... Blue. Man, anybody that has ever eaten any blueberries in higher quantities, aka all the vegans out there, you know that you cannot digest them. This goes through you, especially in a smoothie form. The only thing that you will absorb in that smoothie is sugar. This is being mistaken then as feeling healthy because you get a sugar rush. That's it. Oh, Oat yeah. milk. It's not milk. Yeah, super healthy for you. Again, I see she knows Dr. Sebi as most black Americans. Why would you need barley grass juice powder? It is nothing but oxalate powder. You want kidney stones? You need it. Protein powder. Because plants don't give you protein. But plants have protein too. They have protein. You don't absorb it. Man, I can't believe this. 2022, still. Those bananas, those blueberries. Sugar. Does this look like anything that a human being should be consuming? Powder, protein powder, Honest question. Blueberries and bananas. Great. Yuck. Right, and now let's not forget you're eating for gut health. You ingested a bunch of fiber, a bunch of sugar, a bunch of anti-nutrients, oxalates, etc. How is this gut healing? You don't have any explanation for this. You simply believe that if you don't eat vegan junk food, then you're eating gut healthy. You are mistaken. It is the plants that destroy your Gut. They're not even fermented. If it would be fermented plants, then maybe, maybe. Make it's sure oils. you're using canned <laughs> beans that you are rinsing them. Hey, you guys, I bought a can of pinto beans. It's organic. Therefore, it is healthy. Man, every kid knows that if you eat beans, you destroy your butthole. Very important. It's no mystery. Vegans don't know. Still. Wow, man. I said it before, this is peasant food. This is what people ate if they didn't have enough meat. Still, nevertheless, they would add meat into those beans. This can never be the predominant source of protein for human beings. Everybody knows that beans destroy your gut. There is no adaptation phase. <laughs> And then they buy probiotics. Uh, so this episode is yeah. C-O-M-I-N-G? Like cumin. Yeah. yeah. Everybody thinks that it's cumin. Mm. Pronounced and then cumin. And Yeah. Oh, man. Chili powder. Yeah. If you have gut issues, eat chili powder. Great yeah, choice. The best choice. I can't make this up. Yeah, this must be sarcastic. It has to be. Oh, okay, let me stop you right there. Think about it. Forget about your food for a second. Just take those spices like that and drink them. Honestly, put them into a cup and drink all of those spices like so. How will your gut react to those spices? Gut healing! Wow, well, man. This is something else. Really something else. <laughs> Look how much seasoning she needs in order to eat those beans in the first place. Wow. It's barely anything in it. She's probably going to have to smack it a couple of times. Mm -hmm.
Oh, yeah. There you go. This is crazy. It really is. Got hell, you guys. Got hell. Do do do. Do do do. Do do. The avocado here might be the only thing that you are actually able to digest if you are tolerating avocado, that is, and if you're not allergic to avocado. Uh, you want meat, like everybody. Just give it. Is it working? No. <laughs> Potato on top. Let me see. It's not working. This is how you do it. I'll do it. It's one hilarious. Half. When I was a vegan, I thought as well that if I eat a wide range of plants, especially a wide range of potatoes, then I'm eating healthy. My gut was killing me. My digestion was totally destroyed. But nevertheless, I still ate sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, because they digest so well. That's what they tell you. But here you are having gut issues. <laughs> Why? Okay. Take it. You gotta stab it. One in. There we go. Stab it, like I said. Yeah, stab it. Open it. Stab something it. else. Ugh, there you go. Yuck. <sighs> She's making it hard on her digestion on purpose. This is crazy. <laughs> I really don't know what to say anymore. You're eating potatoes, rice, beans, avocado, and all kinds of spices in order to heal your digestion. How? Why? This is really bad, man. Some more onions. Onions act antiseptic, just by the way, so if you really want to kill off all the bacteria within your gut, you're on the right path. Garlic as well. <laughs> nice! My Indian viewers know that onions and garlic are medicinal and you can use them occasionally. If you use them every day, you're destroying your gut flora. I'm eating healthy because I'm eating vegetables. Simple. It never ends. For some reason, I said that I want some vegan mozzarella or vegan cheese on top of it. So that's what we did. Yes, you are listening to your body. And yes, your body wants vegan cheese, vegan mozzarella. And you can see those cravings in there. This tomato pasta sauce is, of course, replicating meat in this instance. Then the fake dairy, then the nutritional quote-unquote yeast, which is as well a cheese substitute. Of course, it will never substitute cheese, but this is what you try to replicate here. You are admitting that your body craves animal fats, but you're denying it. My little veggie Every pasta. single time. Aside from the pasta having gluten, of course, which is absolutely terrible for gut health. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll have like a little garlic bread know. with I it, assume. but today I did not. I try to keep my gluten at a minimum, just be mindful of how much gluten I'm consuming. Because if I consume too much, it does affect my digestive system. Um, but. <sighs> So you know it affects your digestive system, but you still eat it. You have issues with your gut health, aka you're sitting on the toilet all day long. But you're not really trying to fix it. You're staying within your plant-based delusion, hence you call yourself plant-based princess, not able to break out of that conditioning. Your body is craving animal foods. Your body just wants to eat cheese, just wants to eat eggs, just wants to eat meat without all the synthetic gunk in there, without all the vegetable oils. Your body wants to heal, but you're not letting it. Um, yeah. self hate. Okay, all right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Must have been the most ironic what I eat in a day video that I have ever seen personally. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Check them out. We have organic grass fed freeze dried organs for you. If you use my code, you can save yourself 10% off. 
Thank you so much for your support. All right, guys, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.